Here's a driver's side floor patch. Joe's made me a large patch to go in here. We didn't buy any from the internet. I don't know if I could find one in time, but it's gonna be better in just a minute. So we are redoing these floorboards and a little bit of interior stuff today. This needs some help, obviously. I have a, another dash piece to go in. I don't know if it'll happen today or not, but soon enough. Windshield's supposed to be within the next day or two. Um, Joe is cutting the other floor pan. I got video of this one here. I can show to you. But we're covering over a lot of this other stuff, but I wanted to cut the big chunky rough spots out. At least then they're not. Here's what the passenger side's looking like. Joe's been trimming out with the jigsaw and metal blade. Real easy, it's got a little more, but it's looking pretty good. Any of this rust right here that's left, I've got some Permatex rust dissolver in a bottle we can smear it with before the new piece goes down so we're not just trapping old rust there. So. It's all coming together nicely. We'll have some floorboards before you know. Okay, so I'm under the truck and Joe is on top. And everything that's gray, that's the bottom of my new metal floor pan. Uh, so what I'm doing is marking. Is it perfect? It is perfect as it's gonna get. Okay, one second. That goes like that, up to there. Here's our floor pans, nicely screwed and beat into place. You'll see our little holes popped. I gotta scratch that out, but. I'm gonna go along and weld, pull out screws, weld. Initially, this was just gonna be a sheet metal screw job, but uh, we gained a little more time because the race is being postponed. So that laid in there real nice. I'll get her welded up. All right, my driver's side is mostly done. You still see I got a few screws self tappers in. Joe's gonna come by and take those out and I'll swap back over and weld them up. But it really laid down, sucked down to the floor beautifully. And also after I weld that up, he can run over it with the wire wheel and we just blast it black and uh, keep going.
And I can't forget the pile that we cut out. It's no longer there. Here's our floors, a little bit of cleanup. I ran over everything with a wire wheel. And you'll see there's still a little bit of ugly, rusty lookingness. That's fine. I wiped it all down with paint thinner. And uh, my next step, I'll do the Permatex rust stop on here. But here's what I got. I like this stuff. Permatex rust treatment. It'll actually dry as kind of a purpley black uh, primer deal. So let me just get into it and show you. Anywhere that I got stuff like that, I got my paintbrush. It is very strong medicine. Don't, don't get it on your skin or eyes. Um, well ventilated and all that jazz. Just like that. You can sand and paint over it if you'd like. I'm going to get down in here too. Look at that. Wiped all that stuff with, actually I think it's called towel, Toline, Toline, whatever. Uh, it's very strong, very strong paint thinner. I'm gonna run it down in these cracks and all these little crevices here too. Let me get you set up so you can watch me for a second. Well, this might get a little boring, but it's just part of the process. A lot of people don't show the whole process because they skip steps maybe, or maybe they're running out of battery, I don't know. It doesn't take long. I wanna run it down just like that between my all around my wheels and just like that. If it gets on the panel itself, does not matter. I don't have to go way up onto the blue because the blue's not rusting right now. So this is kind of for active rust. Slide her back. I showed my buddy Mike Rule this at my car shop, and he just uh, recently shot his Challenger top with it. So it's just something to kind of keep it from uh, deteriorating more while he's in stages of working. Feed it on down in there. Good stuff, yep. Yeah, okay, I got a crack there. Get it down in there. That wiring harness looks really, really good. I could unplug it, but I've been a little lazy. Just kidding. It's hard to get everything done on your lunch break every day, so. If it is raw bare metal, I'm gonna get it coated up. Here's what it looks like as it dries. You were still a little wet in that corner, but this uh, it's pretty much dry to the touch there. This kind of turns purple. It doesn't actually look terrible on the blue. I went ahead and wiped this whole thing. When I wire wheeled that, it smelled really, really, really um, terrible. Kind of like the old gas tank. There was a pad or something right there. So as I'm as I'm wheeling it, it you can smell that old gas come out of there. So this is kind of helping coat all the funk since I've already wiped it down once. But uh, if I wanted to, I'm not saying I will, you know, in two years, I could take a scotch bright and hit all this and shoot it blue just like I did under the hood and it would look super great. Um, may want to go a little bit more aggressive to get the ridges out, but I mean, I brushed it on with a paintbrush. What do you want? Uh, I had a little bit left and I just did the, my bed cap and a little bit of the tailgate so I can just see how, I mean, it kind of makes it look patina-y or whatever you want to call that. Got my LMC truck rubber mat in here. So it's a truck came with factory, so I bought one. And it's not bad. I think it could lay down a little better. Maybe if it, if I can get a, 90 or 100 degree day out here in Arkansas, I can get it uh, in place better. I didn't put the uh, insulation under it yet because my windshield is not totally in. It is, this is the new one, but they messed up a little bit. Not to mention all the giant cracks. So that's getting redone. Um, 
but I wanted to lay my mat in just test fit. Kind of gives the truck a nicer feel, doesn't it? And I know I'll have a part two on this. To, I'll show you what seats I got going on. I got to get my shifter mounted, my steering wheel, my dash. Uh, redo the windshield. Let me finish up the floor pan. I'll yank this mat out and be right back. So this will be a fun part. We got the Eastwoods high solid seam sealer in black. Good stuff. Paintable in 60 minutes, but uh, you'll see what I'm doing with it here. Get her out to the edge. This is more just insurance. Uh, there we go. Don't want any dirt going up, no dirt going down. None of that business. There we go. Just starting the corner. I had flared my tip just a little. There we go. And this also happens from the underside. If you want to be exact, oh, I'm not going to lay under this thing today because it's the ground's wet. But there we go. Just like. Put a little in that spot. Good. Uh, just like to keep moving. This is an acceptable patching process if you've got an old beater or if you just want to make your floor pans better. Everybody's favorite time, turbo. Now, if that doesn't look better, I don't know what does. I got some uh, a million fish eyes in my stuff down here, but it's fine. It was already painted anyway, but I wanted to shoot my weld heads and just make it all black. Makes me feel better. And when my black mat goes in, if this stuff's still showing, it'll just be black. If that's still showing, it'll be black. It looks better than the giant rust holes we started with, so. Now I think I'm done with the video.